well who knows with this anyway Monday 4th February 2019 oh 20 to 7 in the morning an emergency Beano after BRX 2019 it's raining what joy what ultimate joy anyway I think that's it for the moment off to Newport well I think I've worked it out I smiled it was misty coming down and it's drizzly now well, that's better ready for you. Anyway, we so far to start. And we're off. Um, there are no real cascades sure at the moment. It's really rather poor. I'm not a word with my man. Anyway, Club Tropicana. <coughs> with a bit. Okay, I can't remember. Where are we? Is that five or six point? Bear with me callers. 5.5. <coughs> Here we go. That is... That's mighty fine. I knew that, but... Really fruity. I know they've used real fruit. I must say. A minus. And despite what Dark Sky says, it's drizzle. John Wallace Linton. Nice and warm in the John Wallace Larry Linton. Anyway, beer wise, Thunderbird from the Kite, which used to be. I can't remember what they used to be. No, it's not from the kite. They were the kite, it's the Glamorgan Brewery in the Flint Crescent. Did I say 4.5? Can't remember. Real flooring, Mr. Manning. Mmm. Bitter and malty. B plus and a bit. pen and wig. Rain stopped and it's overcast. However, slightly mild. I'll run with that. And uh, <clears throat> it is somewhat of a really good selection for today. This is Jester Brew One. A golden chin ale. 3.4% of alcohol by volume from Cox Brewery. Real wooden flooring for Mr. Manning. And there's the bar over there. So, oh, that's nice. Poppy, gently bitter, nicely refreshing. I'm thinking B plus in a bit. Eddie Holly, the day the music died. There you go. Number number two. I'm on the halves. Um, because of time. This is freestyle by Fashion Brewery. 4.5% alcohol by volume. Um, simple hot, which is appropriate. Elvis. Mm. That's quite more than that. I need to sit over there and gently, gently hopped around the back end. Another B plus on the bit. You can see that now, huh? Would have thought. Red cow. Which is a picture of a lady. That guy he told I'm not sure about the reason. Oh, no, I have been told. 3.7% alcohol by volume. If he's 70 years old, I'm the rather one to go to the well, not wrong, no, 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 no
But he said he was older than me. The guy that's beating up the hit said he's older than you. If you look at him, you ever look at your sports face? I sleep better. He looks like he looks like he's like he taking shit to you. This guy Pauline on him. That's me crossing a bit, but... It's like he's 70 years old. Old and 70. Old and me. You miss it. Well, it's been a while, and I never knew the sun's come out. It's warming up. I need chips. The famous chips. Look, it's an emergency tiny rebel van. Beer, spirits, bars, and clothing. Your yeah, bad folks from that way. However, I'm going Whoop. this way. This is friendly and misleading. Full sight on craft. Focus on how to go. There it is. That. And you can just see the emergency delivery van outside. I think it's an emergency van beers coming in, but apparently it's just essential. Too fast. Fruity, it's a fruit ball. Very fruity. That is a big plus plus. And a good one. It says Stow Hill on there. Okay, I'm coming to do that because I can't pronounce it. Pantsatomoni Bell. Is it that Grand Hogdoy thing? Anyway, New England double IPA from Wine Weather Ends, 9% of mesalated thirds. And pasteurized and filtered contains yeast. I hope it would. Honey-ish? Wow! It's strong, but the alcohol is hitting behind the sweetness. It's definitely a B++. Plus plus. And it may even get even more if I can even pronounce it. Take down. And... Siren Craft again. Saturnalia. 7% alcohol by volume. Complete flooring, Mr. Manning. Yeah. Am um, dark spice cherry sour. Here we go. Ooh. Nicely carbonated. Mm, smell of cherries, it does smell sweet. A minus. That is. I don't know what spice that is, but that's great. And there's sour cherries, there's no sweetness in, but there's fruity cherryness in there, and it's. A minus. 3.75 out of 5. Always gotta have that headroom. Hosanna by Oedipus, which apparently from Amsterdam, 9% alcohol by volume. And a tiny rebel t-shirt, actually not tiny size. Just in case it snows again, I'm bulking up. Thank you, Harbour Fish Bar. What an excellent welcome in Harbour Fish Bar. Anyway. Oh, there's a fruity aroma. Okay, I'm getting the strength, I'm getting the alcohol, but it's a fruit bomb, and it's hidden well. And there's a fruity, tropical, bitter aroma to finish. That's a big plus plus. Let's go, finish me for the day. Thank you, and good afternoon.